We're Will and Jen, and this is our dog, Tucker. In our last video, we explored Santa Fe, New Mexico, and did an epic snowy hike in the mountains. We have finally made it. In this video, we are wrapping up our time in Santa Fe with a glass blowing class, which was more intense than we expected. And visiting a Japanese inspired spa to kick back and unwind. So as you guys probably saw last night, we missed our train. How do they expect you to park here for the train? Run. So that was kind of a bummer, but. And we're running late today again. No, we're not running mm. late. But today's a new day. We're heading back into downtown Santa Fe to do a couple of fun things. So first thing is Santa Fe is very known for its art culture. So there's tons of art galleries here. Lots of like abstract art. There's even like abstract art at our campground sitting around. Right. So we decided to take a more hands-on approach to exploring that art culture. So we are going to a glass blowing studio and we're gonna be doing our own glass blowing today, which we've never done before. So we're actually gonna like make things today to take oh, home. Nice. So I'm really excited. So that's where we're heading now. I didn't even look at the menu. You told me I could pick a couple colors, so I'm going with this like uh, kind of coral orange. Nice. And then a teal color, he's just getting clean. These two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll go in, we'll, we'll get some uh, clear glass on the end of our plate. Okay. All right, so hang on. Okay. If it's too hot, you can back off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> that was great. 
That's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It is, I know. Right it's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so that was definitely one of those activities, I should say, where you're like, oh, that'll be cool. But then once you're actually doing it, it was actually like really fun. Yeah. It was like a little nerve wracking too. Like he's like, yeah, touch the glass. You're like, right, <laughs> you don't mean to like touch the glass. Right. And I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> And then like everywhere, there's just like fire and melted glass. That's just like, can I move or right, like, you're you like, know? You're like checking around you before you take yeah. a step. And he's all like comfortable with it, just swinging it around. Right, like, <laughs> right. But, um, it felt like one of the most dangerous like types yeah. of art you can make. Right, for sure. But it was actually really fun. I'm excited to see how our little creations turn out tomorrow. So what he was explaining is um, there's like a 900 degree oven that those pieces right. went in as soon as we finished with them. And I was asking him what the purpose of was, was of having to go into a hot oven like that. Right. And it's so that the glass kind of cl cools down slowly. So they'll sit in the oven for the rest of the day and then they turn it off when they leave. Probably Cause he said with the slowly. thicker glass, if you go from it, you know, the temperature that we're like molding the glass and then you just let it completely cool at room temperature, yeah. it can crack a lot easier. Oh, okay. So that is a way for the glass to slowly cool down yeah, so that so it, doesn't it doesn't crack. crack. Yeah. All right, now we are over closer to downtown Santa Fe at San Miguel Church which is actually the oldest sanctified church in the country. And um, you can kind of tell by the architecture of the age of it. It was actually built by Indians back in 1610 under the, the guide of like the Spanish ruler at the time. So this used to be a Spanish colony. It's been rebuilt, I think, twice in history in the 1600s and then early 1700s. But All the walls are the same, right? I believe or the walls are the same. It has that, you know, clay kind of... New Mexico. Yeah, you know what I love about the architecture here is it's, it's not like perfectly squared off. <laughs> Yeah. Like it has imperfections in it because it's made out of clay. So we're gonna go check it out on the inside. We probably won't talk in there just out of respect, but we will get some footage in there. So inside the church is the San Jose Bell or it was made in 1356 13, yeah. and brought here in the 1400s. And there was some controversy where- If it was 1856. Right, like there were some people in the community that tried to claim that it was it was a lot newer than right. was inscripted on it. Right. But this used to be at a different location, I think she was saying, right? And it fell and got a crack in it. So you can actually see they remolded it so you can see where the crack was. Yeah. yeah. So you're supposed to they have a rubber mount here so you can actually ring the bell yourself. You want to ring it? Yeah, and they said that um, ringing the mallet basically is like good luck. It means you'll return to Santa Fe. All right. Ooh. Nice. Yep. At least 780 pounds. Wow. Oh, so. Is this the, the metal that makes it yep. up? Okay, so it's actually made of like a blend of metal. So it is. the major metal is copper. That's 764 of the 780 pounds. Yeah. But yeah, lead, zinc, tin, nickel, and yeah. some other so it's ones. 98% copper. Yeah. So when you actually step up here to the altar, you can see down. So these are the original steps. Floor of Indian dwelling, yep. 1300. And so that was the original floor of an Indian dwelling from 1300. And then these steps were built in 1610 when, they, when yep. the chapel was built. That's crazy. So this has just been built on top of that, those existing steps. To preserve it. Probably. Yeah. It's cool how they That's had a way to look cool. down at it though. Okay, so we left the chapel, it was like right down there. We saw they had a bunch of food trucks here. So we're like, let's just grab something quick because we'll probably get a dinner later. We went to this fusion tacos place and got burrito tacos, which are like our favorite kind of tacos. And guys, like these might be the these best are we've ever had. The best tacos I've They're ever so had. good. Next up today is probably what I've been most excited about to do in Santa Fe. And we're heading to a Japanese themed hotel and spa. And we've rented our very own private outdoor hot tub. 
uh, for like an hour and a half. So I'm really excited. The building looks super cool. So we're heading up in the mountains, which kind of just like adds to the whole experience. It really so you have does, to like drive yeah. up in the mountains. So I'm really excited for you this. You can tell we're already climbing elevation. Oh, can yeah. you feel it in your yeah, ears? Yeah, I can. Yeah. We just got here and I'm already so excited because the building is like, I feel like I'm in Japan right now, right. honestly. Okay. Okay. Take a lip, sauna, drink your water. Okay. Yes. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. So this is even cool. This is excited. so cool. Okay. Real quick, before we change, let me give you guys a full tour of our private hot tub area. Okay. I didn't realize we were getting like all the stuff with that we were getting. Right. So first of all, these are the changing rooms and showers at the side. Okay. That is so cool. So we have a full bathroom here, toilet and sink. And then a full shower, a full tiled, nice shower. Over here is kind of like the main attraction, which is the hot tub area. So All right. You have your like main pool. You have places to lay down. Looks like a smaller three foot pool over there. And you're getting this waterfall. That's effect. so cool. So you got the sound of the moving water. Okay, and down here is the sauna. Oh. Like water fill station. Cool. It's already nice it's and toasty. Here. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, it's warm. But this is a huge sauna. I mean, this sauna can see freaking. I guess, you know, like. It's for a group. Okay. Somebody ain't yeah, happy. I mean, you can sit for getting 20 Oh, yeah. Here easily. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get changed. And Sarah's going to go ahead and get changed. Yeah. Okay, you first, Will. Uh -huh. You first. Are oh, you going into the small one? I see that's the cold one. Oh, that's a cold punch? Oh, cool, though. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah, this is more my speed. <laughs> it's deeper than you think. Is it? Yeah. Is it warm? Yeah, so warm. It's gonna feel so good with how cold it is outside. Right. <sighs> it's warm. It's so nice and warm. Ooh, that feels so good. This is so cozy because it's so, it's like 35 degrees outside. Right. And this just feels amazing. Well, what I like is they have like the full health spa experience here. So I think what you're supposed to do is go in the hot tub, then do a cold plunge. Oh. Then probably honestly come back to the hot tub and then do the sauna. Gotcha. You learn that. Yeah, I so forgot about that in Virginia. Do the hot tub first and then do the sauna. And yep. the health effects of the sauna are stronger if you do that in that order. Okay, so like we said earlier, for the full experience, you have to be willing to do the cold plunge. Right. So I'm ready. Okay. This is like what they do in like Denmark, I think. Or oh, Norway is it? Or something. God, it looks so cold and scary. <laughs> it's freezing too. It's like an ice box. <gasps> oh, it's so cold. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Got all the way. All the way. Head <gasps> under. Oh, no. Oh God. Are you ready? <laughs> is it that cold? cold. <laughs> now does this feel great? Oh, oh my God. Is it like that warm in here now? Really? No, it does. It okay. Does. When you first put your feet in, like it just feels like room temperature because your body's so cold. Right. Oh my god. Okay, ready? Your turn, Will. Right. Straight down to the neck. <laughs> wow, I am proud of you. You're usually a baby with cold water. Your whole body tingles though. I know. <laughs> Are you in heaven now? Yeah. I'm in heaven. I'm in now. heaven now. <laughs> So one reason that we really wanted to come to a spa while we were here in Santa Fe is because Santa Fe is not only known for their art scene, 
but they're really known for like relaxation spa health kind of stuff and um so i was like we have to at least go to some sort of spa while we were here now this place is called Ten Thousand waves and it's very very popular attraction here now we were lucky because we booked this what like three or four three days or four ago, days ago yeah but usually we were talking to our waitress last night and she said usually you have to book this like months out yeah and like i think post covid she said things were different here before covid like they used to have a community pool right um it used to be like this private hot tub areas like this were more of like the luxury right experience here yeah. but this is like more of the main attraction now so the price is a little bit more reasonable yeah. you know i think you can get a date a little bit yeah closer. okay final step in the process is the sauna so we're really cold out here in the wind we're gonna go in now ready mm -hmm. this is like sauna phase one because it is pretty warm in just here. Oh, right. Just but where then, you hang your jackets. Yeah. Oh, here, let me get some water real quick, actually. Yeah, give me some too, please. It feels great. I love how saunas are such a weird, like, hot, dry heat. Yeah. Right so, here we go. There is it. <laughs> it it would look like. <laughs> 